uh, Brian Bailey, the general manager here at the Chippewa Hotel in the Pink Pony. Uh, this is my 25th season here, and uh, um, working on Mackinac Island uh, certainly has its challenges and its benefits. And uh, it's a beautiful place to work. It's a, a charming atmosphere. It's the number one tourist destination in the summertime in Michigan. Uh, we have a great location here at the Chippewa. We're right on the water. Uh, we have a very popular restaurant and bar. We serve about 300, or we have about 300 seats in the restaurant. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, my typical day starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, come in, meet with my managers, make sure all the departments are running right uh, throughout the day. If I'm needed in any of those departments, I, uh, I run up and help out uh, any way that I can. Here on the, on the line here, uh, I jump over and help the expo and put plates together, make sure everything looks great and the food's going out. Uh, make sure everyone's doing all their serve safe etiquette, of course. And uh, um, I might help out up in the um, bedrooms as well, up, uh, upstairs, making beds, pushing a vacuum, whatever it, it takes. A cute little story, I met my wife uh, cleaning rooms here at the Chippewa back in 1991 and we got married. So, you know, you never know what's, what can happen to you when you, uh, when you work in the hospitality industry. Some of the challenges uh, working on a resort island, of course, staffing's a big challenge. Uh, getting people to work seasonally for six months over on, a, on an island. But luckily, you know, we have a beautiful island to work in. Uh, it's uh, a lot of great energy here on the island uh, with the number of people coming over here on a daily basis and uh, um, being able to take, care of, take, take care of them here on a beautiful island. Our food gets here very interesting. They actually bring trucks, the Gordon's truck, Cisco truck, over on a freight boat. Comes over to the island, they pull it over onto the dock, it's unloaded onto drays from there. Those drays bring it straight to the hotel to our receiving, where we receive it, check it over, make sure everything's correct and in good shape, and then uh, put away. So it's a very interesting concept, uh, especially when uh, you get three, four, five, six foot waves out there in the Straits of Mackinac. Uh, those trucks are rolling, but uh, they make it every day, and uh, we're sure grateful uh, that they do. So our food is fresh. It comes over frozen. Uh, by the time we get it, the temperatures are still in, in, in check, and we can get it put away right away. So uh, it's very interesting. It's very different. Um, you know, uh, we all work very well together here on the island which uh, you don't get in a lot of communities all the businesses communicate really well together we're all looking out for each other and helping each other out if i get somebody else's product by mistake you know we get it right over to them uh, and vice versa so it's a very unique uh, atmosphere compared to some other business communities uh, and that's why i've been here for so long and i love it so much it's a, it's a great atmosphere to work in Maintenance is huge. We're, we're a 120-year-old hotel, uh, so that comes with uh, certain challenges for sure. Uh, being on an island where parts are limited and uh, you know resources are limited over here, uh, maintenance is probably the key to, to having a successful business over here. So um, I have great maintenance departments. They work 24 hours a day. Um, they can do just about anything, and uh, you know, I'm very happy to have them. But it is probably the number one key to any business here on the island because all the buildings are so old. But you know, this hotel is in great shape for being 110 years old, and uh, I'm fortunate that our owners put a lot of money back into it to make sure it is that way and will last another 100 years. How many years you've been doing this? 39. I think you might be an expert by now. Not too bad at all, huh? What brings you back every year? I know. It's a beautiful place. Excellent. So, how many hours are you doing this a day? Nine or ten?